Hello you magnificent people, this is Chris from Texperts and I'm here with a fresh new Honor 10 Lite budget phone, freshly launched in January 2019 for £199 here in the UK and we're going to do a quick side by side with the original Honor 10 here on the right which still costs around the sort of £300 to £350 price point depending on if you manage to snap it up and a deal or not to see what the difference is and which one might be best for you. And don't forget for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech, Honor or otherwise, to pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So first up, as you can see, despite the fact that this is the light version of the Honor 10, it is also considerably bigger. It's a 6.21 inch beast compared with the original 5.84 inch Honor 10. Of course, smartphones are just getting bigger and bigger as we go through time. So they're probably going to be 7 or 8 inches come the end of the year. What that does unfortunately mean is that the original Honor 10 is much easier to use one-handed compared with the Honor 10 Lite. You can just about reach up to that notifications bar. Oh. Oh god, just about. Uh, whereas here on the Honor 10 Lite, you've basically got no hope whatsoever. And as you can see here on the Honor 10 Lite as well, you also get the nifty one-handed mode, which just allows you to shrink down your desktops, makes everything much easier to manage. Whereas you don't get that feature here on the Honor 10 Lite, unfortunately. You will find it in the Smart Assistance section here on the Honor 10. It's just notable by its absence here on the 10 Lite. And yes, I've dug around in all kinds of different menus to try and find it, uh, done a search and everything, no dice. As you can see, the display does mostly fill the front uh, panel of both of these smartphones. You do get quite a thick bezel down here beneath the screen on the original Honor 10. That's because the fingerprint sensor was actually built in to uh, that little bottom bezel. You can just about make it out there uh, if you see uh, the screen protector sort of has a gap for it. It's actually built into the glass itself, so it works quite well even when your fingerprint is quite damp. We still prefer the positioning here on the rear on the Honor 10 Lite. Uh, it just falls naturally under your finger when you pick up the smartphone, but in both cases it's nice and nippy. As you can see, you just get chucked straight into your desktops with a quick tap. No fuss or anything. And yes, you do get a dreaded screen notch up at the top of both of these handsets as well. It's kind of a, a little mini moustache here on the original Honor 10, whereas it's more of a dew drop, uh, or as I like to call it, a nutsack here on the Honor 10 Lite. Dive on into the settings, however, and go to the display. And you'll find in there, there is a notch action in order to uh, mask it from view. So you just give that a tap and as you can see, it just adds a black bar to the top of the display. So if you find it particularly offensive, you can just ditch the bugger. If we flip the phones over, you'll see they are both, of course, glossy uh, glass rears right there. Nice and shiny, as you can see, you get a lovely striation effect as you sort of tilt them towards the light. Uh, I believe this effect is only available on the blue version here on the Honor 10 and the Honor 10 Lite. Can pick them up in different hues as well if you like, but frankly, this is the best finish by far. Definitely recommend it. Unfortunately, the Honor 10 Lite does seem a bit more susceptible to scratches. We've got quite a few little nicks uh, on there after just a couple of weeks of use. The original Honor 10, we've had it for coming up to a year now, and it's still looking nice and fresh. Neither phone is water resistant though, so definitely don't go take them into the shower to do a sexy selfie or anything. I do like the way that both handsets curve towards the edges, just adds for a nice comfortable grip. And as you can see, if we flip around to the bottom, they both have a 3.5mm headphone jack, great stuff. And they both have a bottom mounted speaker for your media as well. Unfortunately, the new Honor 10 Lite does sport an old school micro USB connection, whereas on the original Honor 10, it's more up to date Type C reversible effort. If we jump back onto that display tech, as I mentioned before, it is of course a bigger display here on the Honor 10 Lite. It's a 6.21 inch compared with the 5.84, but both of them have a stretched full HD plus resolution. So as you can see here, if you dive into the app tray, the, uh, the tiny text is nice and crisp, uh, no problems with clarity at any point. It's an IPS panel as well. If you go into the settings and then display, you can actually tweak uh, the color temperature and the color mode. So as you can see, they're both in vivid mode by default. Uh, you can drop them down to normal if you want a more realistic imagery production. We quite like it on that vivid mode, as you can see, nice punchy in your face colors. Load up the same picture on both smartphones. Uh, you'll notice that uh, those blues, those pinks, they really shine. Uh, they are nice and vivid and vibrant uh, without getting truly sort of like in your face artificial. Uh, you know, there's no sickly sweetness there. They all uh, look very pleasing to the eye. And of course, in terms of the, the general clarity and everything, uh, nice and sharp imagery production on both smartphones. And if we dive once again into those display settings, you also, of course, get the usual eye comfort mode in order to sort of filter the blue light at night. It just makes it, again, more easy on the eye experience. 
Now, a lot of these features I've been talking about are added by Emotion UI, Huawei's Emotion UI, which all Honor smartphones use. Uh, as you can see here, they're not quite running the same version, unfortunately. The older Honor 10 is still stuck on a MUI version 8.1, whereas you've got a MUI version 9 here on the new Honor 10 Lite, and that's sat on top of Android Pie, whereas it's Android Oreo here on the older Honor 10, but hopefully Honor 10 will get an update to Pi imminently. Then of course you get a couple of bonus features on that a MUI 9 version here on the Honor 10 Lite, such as the digital balance, which just allows you to see how much of your life you're wasting on your smartphone, but there's nothing particularly essential. You can go check out my full Amui 9 review and hands-on tour for all of the uh, the new bits in there. Uh, but you get most of the uh, the good stuff already in there, such as, for instance, the navigation. Uh, you can take away that navigation dock and just use the Android Pie style gestures to get around instead. Definitely highly recommend that. And one of the best Amui features found again on both smartphones is that facial recognition as well, which just allows you to completely bypass the fingerprint sensor and everything else and just use your gorgeous mug to unlock the phones instead. So if we just get them both ready, and all you need to do is power down, and then when you want to power up, just hit that power button and they'll recognize your mug. And as you see, you are straight into your desktop. So it generally works well, even in quite low light conditions. Uh, as you can see, slightly nippier on the Honor 10. Generally only fooled if you're wearing uh, facial accessories such as sunglasses or a big ass hat. And both phones have rears to wake as well, so you can just literally just pick them up and again, they'll automatically start scanning for your face and unlock if it recognizes you. As for the performance, well, the older Honor 10 is the more superior handset, as you'd expect, as this is a light model. So the original Honor 10 used the Kirin 970 chipset. Uh, it's getting on a bit, it's over a year old, but it's still absolutely fine for your everyday performance. Whereas here on the Honor 10 Lite, that's paired back to a Kirin 710, more of a, a chipset used on its more mid-range slash budget handsets. As you can see, if you uh, tap into an app, they basically both load in more or less the same sort of time. And you get a very similar experience when flipping through apps, if you're skipping between them. Uh, you'll see the odd little stutter and stammer here and there, but it tends to be UI focused rather than because of the actual chipset. Interestingly, recent Honor handsets have stopped allowing us from installing Geekbench, uh, which we used to be able to do on these older Honor handsets. So I can't do a direct benchmark comparison, unfortunately. The good news, if you like a bit of PUBG, is that it it runs absolutely fine on both of these handsets, though the Honor 10 is definitely still the superior of the two. As you can see, if you dive into the graphical settings, the defaults are set to balanced and medium, right here for the graphics and the frame rate on the Honor 10 Lite. On the Honor 10, that's boosted to HD levels, and as you can see, you get an ultra frame rate on the go. You do get GPU turbo support, uh, Huawei's GPU Turbo feature just basically allows for a nice, smooth, consistent frame rate uh, when playing a handful of games, uh, including PUBG Mobile. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, you get a nice, smooth experience. We'll get the odd little stutter here on the Honor 10 Lite, but on the uh, on the whole, not too shabby at all. I've played full games on Honor 10 Lite, no worries, been capping fools, even with my limited skills. Uh, so yes, yeah, so it definitely does the job if you're on a limited budget. No fear on the battery life either. They've both more or less got the same size of battery. I believe it's 3,340 or 50 here on the Honor 10 Lite, whereas it's 3,400 here on the Honor 10. But in both cases, of course, you get the power save mod, ultra power save and mods. I've been using them both as my full-time handset, of course, for my full reviews over on Recombu. And I've discovered that you get easily over a day of use with either of these handsets, generally more of a day and a half, even with quite a fair bit of use. And if you are going to be playing a lot of PUBG or something like that, you can get several hours from a single charge before you need to power down. And to finish off the specs, we have the storage space, of course. You get 64 gigs as standard here on the Honor 10 Lite, on the UK model at least. Uh, here on the original Honor 10, you get double light, you get 128 gigs. But there's no expandable storage on the original Honor 10, no micro SD memory card support. Whereas the Honor 10 Lite does support micro SD memory cards up to a whopping 512 gigs. So you're basically set for downloading all the media, uh, Spotify tracks, Netflix movies, etc., etc that you want as long as you've got that decent sized memory card. All of which blather brings us nicely onto the camera tech. As you can see, both of these on our handsets sport a AI camera, according to uh, the bit of blurb. It's a dual lens snapper in both of these. The Honor 10 Lite's got a 13 megapixel primary lens, f1.8. Uh, in the case of the original Honor 10, it's a 16 megapixel, and that's again f1.8. Now, while the Honor 10 Lite has a basic uh, 2 megapixel depth sensor for its secondary lens, here on the Honor 10 you actually get a 24 megapixel monochrome secondary lens, again, what f1.8. So that'll just allow you to capture a bit more detail in your everyday shots. 
we jump on into the camera app, you'll see that they sport a lot of similar features, but also uh, you get a couple of bonus bits here on the Honor 10 Lite, surprisingly. So for instance, for your everyday shots, you get Huawei's AI mode. This is basically just AI scene recognition. If you turn it on, it just gives your uh, photos a slight boost in certain scenarios, such as when you're shooting food, uh, pets, things like that. Uh, just a slightly smarter way of tweaking the settings to get a really, really nice and vivid result. Because you've got the likes of the moving images modes, you've got of course portrait mode to make use of that dual lens setup. And if you dive along here, you've got lots of other bonus modes as well that you can play around with. But by far the best one here on the Honor 10 Lite, something that you don't get in the original Honor 10, is the all new night mode. This just allows for a nice long exposure shot in those low light conditions. So even when you're holding the phone by hand, uh, it'll capture a really nice bright sharp image uh, with limited grey and it's very impressive stuff whereas you just get the older more standard night modes here on the Honor 10. So counterintuitively you will actually get better low light shots here on the Honor 10 Lite. That said the Honor 10 definitely uh, performs better in those everyday circumstances thanks to that uh, monochrome secondary lens. And when it comes to the video chops as well you can shoot up to 4K resolution video here on the original Honor 10 as you can see there whereas it tops off at full HD here on the Honor 10 Lite. Image stabilization not particularly great on either of those, so you definitely want to stand as still as possible. And if we jump on into the front facing cameras as well as a 24 megapixel front facer on both of these handsets, and you get very similar results as a result. And of course, if you've got a nice bit of portrait mode action here uh, on both handsets as well, so you can shoot a lovely portrait snap of yourself. You will of course notice that you get the AI smarts right here on the Honor 10 Lite using that front facing camera, whereas that is not active here on the original Honor 10. So that right there is how the Honor 10 Lite and the original Honor 10 stack up. Uh, so as you can see, the Honor 10 Lite, great value for money at 200 quid. It doesn't compare with the original Honor 10 in terms of the performance and the everyday camera shots are better here on the Honor 10 as well. But that said, you do have the latest version of a MUI already here on the Honor 10 Lite. The battery life is just as good. You've got the expandable storage and it's actually got that fantastic night mode on the camera as well, which really helps for those low light shots. So you're tempted by the Honor 10 Lite or maybe you're going to splash a bit of extra cash for the original Honor 10. Or alternatively, you could buy yourself another Honor budget handset. I've actually compared the Honor 10 Lite with the Honor 8X and the Honor Play as well. So go check that out for even more Honor goodness. If you can't get enough of me saying Honor, then you are set basically. And don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest budget smartphones to hit the UK. Cheers everyone, love you!